We have had quite the eventful morning. Cute little orange maxi. There's just like so much happening. Thor and like bruised. I'm on the hunt for. I've been obsessed with sandwiches at the moment. Perfect if you want some cute jammies for Valentine's Day. Currently at 4 a.m. and Romy's acting so strange, so I just called the emergency vet. And it just like banged into my head. <laughs> my biggest insecurity with. Welcome back to another weekly vlog. I'm feeling so much better this week. I feel like it just really helped me letting out all my emotions and just telling you guys exactly how I was feeling. So yeah, I'm feeling so much better this week. Fingers crossed that it stays that way. I'll obviously keep you guys updated throughout the week as well. Um, but yeah, I've had a really nice morning. I just got up early, walked the dogs, went to the 5.30 hustle session and then went and got myself a matcha afterwards from the holiday. They do the best matcha there if you guys are on the Gold Coast. Definitely go and check them out. It's always so busy there as well. I feel like just the vibe is really nice there. They're really, like the staff are really friendly. It's very like, I don't think it's like family based, but it might be, it definitely could be. It definitely gives that vibe. So it's just a really nice atmosphere there. And then I've actually been walking, like I'll leave my car parked at Hustle and then I'll walk along um, Hedges Avenue and then back and then I'll come back home, which has been really nice. So I did that this morning and then I just quickly raced to get ready because I'm actually shooting in Brisbane again today with Verity. So I need to leave really shortly just to go and meet her, just to get some shooting done. I have a really, really busy week this week. There's lots happening. February is going to be huge. So strap in, make sure you guys are keeping up to date with the vlogs. I have lots on. I'm not gonna tell you guys exactly what, but there's just like so much happening. There's only probably like a handful of days where I'm I'll actually be home or just chilling the rest of the time I've got something on so it's gonna be a lot but I'm really excited it's a very exciting month there's lots on and it's gonna be a really good fun I'm excited to bring you guys along for everything obviously so yeah that's the plan for today and then I'm coming back and then I actually have some things on tonight so I'll update you guys as the vlog goes on Just checking in, I'm obviously back home now. Shooting was a very big success. We smashed it out, which was really good. And then we actually ended up just having a little bite to eat at Hellenica afterwards as well, which is really nice. Such a nice day today, but it is so hot. I feel like all of my makeup has basically sweated off. So it's not looking very cute right now after being on all day, but I'm just rolling with it because I don't have time to redo it. Lauren just got here before as well. She's staying for the night because we're actually shooting content tomorrow as well before we have another event tomorrow. Um, but we're actually about to head out to dinner. We're going to light years for dinner tonight. I'm so excited. As you guys know, the last time I went, I couldn't have the bow buns or anything like that because I was on the cleanse. So I'm really excited to have um, the chicken bow buns and we're going with Dakota and Liv. So that'll be really nice just catching up and hanging out with the girls. So yeah, it'll be a really nice way to spend our evening and it is really such a beautiful day I feel like the sunset this afternoon will be so nice. It was honestly so hot today like <laughs> Almost unbearable. It was a lot um, But I'll show you guys my outfit. It's really cute I've actually been dying to wear this you would have actually seen it if you've seen my white fox haul from last month It's super cute. I'll show you guys in the mirror. So I'm wearing this cute little orange maxi Loz is wearing little black yeah, little white fox girlies. So cute. You've inspired me to wear um, jeans on Friday. Mm. We have another event on Friday that I'll bring you guys along to. And I feel like I never do like jeans in a cute top anymore. So.
I just finished getting ready and then I realized I actually need to show you guys a bunch of new pieces that I got from White Fox. So I'm going to film that for you in a second before we head off. But I thought I'd just run you through a little update from this morning. So I actually, I'm not sure if you guys can tell right now, but I slammed, like I opened that door on my head yesterday. Like I opened it, I was in a rush and it just like banged into my head. Luckily I put ice on it straight away. So I feel like the repercussions haven't been too bad. But in certain lighting, there's like a weird like mark on my forehead there. So if you guys see that, it's because I basically almost had a full on egghead happening. Um, that's what happens when you're rushing about the place and you know you shouldn't be. And then the universe is like, relax, you know, that's what happened to me yesterday. Um, so yeah, that's why we have a bit of an egg moment happening. But I am full glam today. Lauren and I went to sweat this morning it was actually a lot more chill than it usually is we had a different trainer this morning and he was a little bit more relaxed i think he usually trains um the actual pilates so he's like really calm and like sweet um but it was probably for the best because lauren came and then also alana came as well so at least they weren't too traumatized which is good um and then yeah we just came back lauren and i've gotten ready like i said we are shooting today we're actually gonna go grab some food first and then yeah we're gonna shoot just on the gold coast today it is currently raining which i'm not really happy about i feel like it's always so it's just like not very motivating whenever you're shooting in the rain i feel like i can handle it when it's overcast like that i can deal with but if it's like fully raining it's just not really the vibes but in saying that it actually has sort of been easing off a little bit so i have high hopes i feel like it is gonna like just become overcast which is exciting and then afterwards we actually do have tasha's event this afternoon as well which is so exciting her edit with white fox has just gone live i'll leave a link to the website in the description for you guys so that you can go and shop everything i'm fairly sure my discount code does work for that so it's just ali a 15 percent off um and all the pieces are so pretty think like resort wear like really beautiful pieces so we have that this afternoon which i'm really excited about and obviously so excited to celebrate tasha the shoot and everything just looks so amazing i'm obviously really excited to catch up with all the girls everyone that's flown in from interstate specifically as well will be really nice and then yeah obviously you see the white fox team as well and it's at la luna too so i feel like that'll just be such a vibe i actually haven't ever been to an event there for a brand i've only ever just gone like with my friends and stuff like that and obviously you guys know i was basically paying, paying rent there at the end of last year and i haven't been i didn't go all of january so actually i'm excited to go there um finally my first time this year which should be really nice and i'm just hoping it clears up for tasha but i feel like it will we're manifesting clear weather blue skies or at least like gray skies we can handle it's just the rain not so much um but yeah i'm gonna quickly try on a few things for you guys and show you some of the pieces that i've recently picked up from white fox honestly i just always you guys know i love all their pieces i wear them all the time constantly i've been wearing them all week as well and yeah just i love all of their new arrivals all of their old stock as well i've obviously got so many pieces um from throughout the years so i'll show you guys everything that i've recently got i figured i would quickly show you guys these pajamas i don't think i actually showed you them fully the other day when i was introing the vlog i think you would have just seen the top of them but they are so cute they're just little satin pajamas and i'm obsessed with them i love the fact that they're like they're giving like sexy but also really cute and just actually wearable like i like the fact that you're pretty covered still and they're just really cute really girly and i love them so much i got them in the red as well so they just tap at the front and then yeah they're just like a really nice length super comfy not too showy which i like i like that you have a little bit of skin showing with the cutouts and stuff but yeah they're super super cute i'll show you guys them in the red as well and then these are them in the red and honestly i don't know which set i love more i'm usually just such a white girly but this shade of red is so pretty Definitely perfect if you want some cute jammies for Valentine's Day or just love month being February or just for yourself in general, even if it isn't for your mans. I feel like these are just so cute and just really nice and light and airy, especially for the summertime as well. They're just so cute and I will definitely be wearing these year round anyway. I love the red so much. I think they did have black as well. I love this set so much. I think it is so cute. We just have a little matching two piece set. I find that this combo is just so flattering i love the halter neck style i love how it is 
creating that v-shape as well and this skirt is so cute it's such a nice fit as well i also love how it looks with the little thong heels that you guys would have seen at the start too they're super cute they're also white fox they just recently dropped a heap of um like i know they've got black as well of like little thong heels and then also thong flats as well which are all super cute for styling but this little set is so perfect for i feel like a date night like a more casual date night or a sunny day date like more so afternoon situation or even just a girl's lunch or a girl's date night as well super cute too this is another super cute little valentine's day inspired dress i love the floral print i think it is so pretty it's really comfortable as well the fit is amazing it just fits my body really nicely and i'm just obsessed with this print i think it's so cute i actually got this in the bustier style like corset top as well because i'm actually going to sydney on friday for their valentine's event which is really exciting so i got the top version to wear with jeans because i feel like i haven't worn like a cute crop and jeans in the longest time and i just i don't know it's just feeling like it because i honestly just haven't done that vibe in forever so i think that's the vibe i'm gonna do i've got that option and then i've also got another option i'll show you guys that as well I might try them on now and then I can work out because actually I actually haven't tried them on. I might try both of them on now and then see which one I'm leaning towards because I honestly am very undecided. They're both quite different. So yeah, this is another cute little dress. I love this so much. You obviously have adjustable straps and stuff too and I love the print. Okay, so this is option one for Friday, but I feel like, I'm gonna be honest, I feel like this isn't my color. Like it's really cute. I love the style. I feel like I need to like brush that a little bit more. I love the style and the fit and everything, but I feel like this color just isn't my color. I feel like I'm usually more of a like baby or hot pink, whereas this is almost like a pinky, like borderline and train purple territory a little bit as well. It's stunning. It's so pretty, but I feel like I'll try on the other outfit first. I do have backup options, obviously, as well, but it was out of mostly between this one and the next one. So I'll try on the other one and we can decide. Okay, I'm definitely leaning towards this. I feel like super cute. I love the contrast between the pattern on the corset top and then also the jeans. I just love a cute denim moment, honestly. Obsessed, but I don't know how dressy everyone's going. Is this like cute and fun? Like valentine's vibes or do i do something dressier i'm very undecided but the fit of this corset top is so nice i love the floral print on it again also obviously and these jeans i've shown you guys these a million times but they're such a nice fit too they're definitely like a little bit more low-waisted but i love them and then this is the final option that i could go with for friday night as well it's super cute again really cute and girly. I'd also put a black ribbon in my hair or something if I wanted to as well, just to tie in with all the cute little bow situations happening here. I love this whole vibe though. I think it's so cute and really different as well. I love the little bow detailing on the side and then obviously at the front too. And the material is really nice and comfortable as well. So cute. And then lastly, I thought I'd just show you guys what I'm currently gonna be wearing this morning. So just have a very basic white tee. They have just launched these in a few different colors. And then just the same pair of jeans that I had on before as well, just styled really casually. And I'm actually, well, Lauren and I, sorry, are actually gonna head to Oxley. We're gonna get something to eat and then we're gonna get stuck into our shooting. Obviously have the event this afternoon as well, but I'll bring you guys along for everything along the way. And I will link everything that I just showed you guys in the description of this video don't forget you can use my discount code ali a at the checkout for 15 percent off and in terms of sizing i got a size extra small in everything the only two things that i didn't get a size extra small in were the pajama sets just because i wanted them to be a little bit baggier a little bit more comfortable and looser so those i got in a size small these uggs are also white fox and they're such a good fit i love them I'm back from the event now. I just have taken all my makeup off because I have had it on. Well, I did have it on for almost 12 hours. It's been a really long day. We have been so busy shooting. We actually managed to get so much done, which is amazing. And then obviously had Tasha's event, which was so nice. Just the whole vibe that White Fox did was so pretty. Obviously the edit is very like resort wear like based. So I feel like the Luna was so perfect for that. And everyone just looked so incredible 
in all of their outfits and obviously Tasha looked beautiful as well. So it was a really nice afternoon just chatting with all the girls. The event did start at 2 and it's now 6.30. I have been home for a little bit. I was just putting away like all of my stuff from shooting, but it was a really, really long afternoon, which was so nice. I feel like we just got so caught up in chatting and everything, which is really nice, but it's been a big day and I have a very big next few days. I have a really big month on the agenda, so it's a lot. I'm gonna have a pretty chill night tonight. I do actually need to edit a heap of content, send it all across for approval. I also need to edit this vlog because I do find that because the vlogs are so long, being an hour long, Obviously, there is a little bit more footage than what actually ends up being in the entire vlog, but I do find that if I edit the video as I go throughout the week, it just makes it a lot more bearable to then do all the final edits at the end of the week. Otherwise, it comes to Monday and then literally I'll be sat at the computer all day, like re-watching everything and I'm just so over it. Um, whereas if I'm doing it like as the week goes on, I feel like it just obviously makes the workload less and I'm more like excited to edit it because it's still like fresh in my mind I suppose I guess like from that day so I'm just gonna edit the vlog so far from the past few days and then it means it won't be as intense come Monday I also am picking Jake up on Monday as well I've been missing him so much today like the thought of him like not being here at home makes me really upset like I just want like a cuddle um, but I'm picking him up on Monday, so it's only a few more days, um, and yeah, I just really, really miss him. So that'll be nice. Um, but yeah, we're actually going to stay at the Carlisle for my birthday, which I'm really excited about. So yeah, Monday will be pretty busy as well. And then obviously, like the rest of the month, there's just like lots happening. Um, but yeah, I'm excited about everything. But yeah, I need to, I was just doing, yeah, my skincare, I just... You guys have already seen the routine that I do, so I'm just gonna do this while I chat to you guys. Um, but what else did we do today? Oh, Verity, sorry, not Verity, Lauren and I went to Oxley for, we actually went to get a photo. Lauren ended up eating and I just got a sandwich takeaway because I wasn't really hungry. Um, and then, so I'm gonna have that for dinner tonight and then I'll have it for dinner tomorrow night as well. And then I think I'll just have like a smoothie or something for lunch tomorrow because I haven't really done groceries for the week because I go to Sydney on Friday. So, and I knew I had this on today. I had dinner last night as well with the girls. Like, just like, I'm not really home this week. So I only bought, um, what did I buy? I only bought, I bought chicken because I had that salad, like the couscous salad ingredients left over. So I had that Monday night for dinner. And then, I just bought some bananas and some more coconut milk because I am just having smoothies and then like a bigger sort of lunch and then um, or like a bigger dinner or whatever and then like a smoothie and then just like snacking on like fruit and stuff in between. So yeah, I didn't do a full grocery shop this week because I knew I would be out and about most of the week. Um, but yeah, I guess that's a little bit of an update. So I've got that, that I'll have for dinner tonight, I'll have half tonight and then I'm getting my hair dyed tomorrow. So I'll have the other half while I'm at my hair appointment. Oh, the other thing I wanna mention as well, I was like chatting to all of the girls about my book situation. And a lot of them, well, some of them had said that they could relate to it. And also I'm so appreciative of everyone that has sent me a DM or even just like commented on my vlog last week. Like it just makes me feel so much better. It makes me feel so much less Lulu, like the fact that this happens to all of you guys as well, not all of you, but it has happened to you guys in the past as well, like with different books, not necessarily these books, but it's just crazy to think that we can get so swept away in these books that aren't real, like it's just so crazy to me, but I'm feeling it so much better today, today is definitely the best I've felt, um, which is really good, the last time I cried was probably Monday morning and then since then I've actually been really good so I'm very very happy about that I'm just feeling so much better um but yeah I was chatting to all the girls about like about it and then yeah one of the girls Millie she was like I'm scared to read it like I don't know what to do because she said she's a massive like empath as well and I was like good luck to you if you do read it like it is honestly amazing like honestly like I feel like they will hold the most special place in my heart those books forever like I'm obsessed with the books and I'm glad I'm feeling better because it means I can obviously like I'll have the capacity to read the rest when they come out I'm just gonna have to be mentally prepared for 
the depression the following few weeks afterwards. Um, but aside from that, it was so good. So even now, like when I start thinking about it, I get a little bit like sad and like feel a bit empty about it. So I'm gonna stop talking about it. Um, I did tell you guys in the last vlog that I would stop talking about it, but I thought I'd just quickly touch on it really quickly because I did actually have so many of you message me and just say really nice and comforting things. So yeah, that's all I'm gonna say on it. And I will see you guys in the morning. Mm. Really is such a good sandwich. Mm. I need to post stories from the event, but like they're all from daytime and it's definitely nighttime now. Mm, mm, mm. Good morning. It's currently 4 a.m. and Romy's acting so strange. So I just called the emergency vet. I'm going to take you to the vet. Romy, come here. Romy, come here. We had the worst sleep last night. He was just tossing and turning, couldn't stay still, kept moving around the bed all night, and I had the worst sleep as well. And he also usually has his tail wagging 24 seven and is so happy and just having a really good time. Um, but he's been kind of like whining a little bit and has been walking around the house with his tail in between his legs the whole morning, just like looking up at me concerned. And I feel like he can't go to the toilet. So I'm gonna take him to the vet now. Remy, come here. Remy, come here. See how his tail is just, come here, baby. Come here. Oh, there we go. But yeah, I'm gonna take you to the vet. I'll let you guys know how he goes. Come on. Come here. Come here. I am so sorry that I haven't checked in with you guys much at all today. We have had quite the eventful morning. Um, so I got up just before four and as you guys saw, ended up taking Romy to the vet. And I thought I'd give you guys a bit of an update. I might sit you down because otherwise my arm, she just goes dead. Um, everything is actually fine. He's just dehydrated, they said. And Romy has a really bad habit of eating everything and everything everything and anything that he can get his hands on so he actually vomited last night and it was like a chunk of a toy that he actually ate last week which is what i'm the most concerned about because it was quite a while ago that he actually was chewing that toy up and usually if he chews things he chews them really small but this was like kind of big it was probably like that big in size which is like quite big considering he's so small so obviously that had me a little bit worried but he'd obviously vomited it up so i was like okay well that's like promising and just was like i'll just keep an eye on him um and then he because he's obviously been fine all week as well and he hasn't eaten anything else since and then he was just really restless now last night which was concerning and then again this morning the fact that he was just like had his tail in between his legs i was like something's not right so i took him to the vet and we got there at like five i think and then the vet were just um saying it ended up being like almost like seven by the time i'd finished talking to the vet there and she just said that she tested him he's just a bit dehydrated so we need to get fluids into him and then also um, because he'd had breakfast, they did an x-ray, but then because he'd eaten, it wouldn't show if something was in his stomach. Um, so I then uh, came back home because then my normal vet opened at eight, um, took Romy to the vet and he is currently there and they are giving him some more fluids and then also going to give him an x-ray soon as well, but they just wanted him there so they could keep an eye on him. Um, and then I just had to fit in a bunch of work and filming stuff. So that's why the makeup's all done now. Um, but yeah, Milo is currently, Milo's chilling in bed, sorry. Romy is at the vet now. And that's the update. I meant to go to Sydney tomorrow, but I just don't know whether I should go or not. I'm feeling a little bit torn because like I'm feeling like I shouldn't go because if Jake was home like obviously it'd be fine but I don't want someone else to have to care for Romy and I'd never forgive myself if something happened while I'm not here like I know that he's fine but I feel like he's just always worried about like something going wrong or just like not being here so I don't really know what to do I'm leaning towards not going to Sydney because obviously like the boys come first um but then i'm like am i being like over dramatic am i overthinking it like should i just go like will things be fine like i don't really know i'm in a bit of a weird headspace about it but i'll let you guys know anyway i will keep you updated i do actually have my hair appointment 
now as well so i'm gonna go to that and that'll be like the rest of the afternoon but i'm just like waiting for an update from the vet they said they'd update me um if they like had any updates or anything but obviously they need to wait for the food to not be as present before they can do the x-ray and they're also going to do an ultrasound as well i was like just do it all because honestly like the amount of stuff he's eaten in his lifetime i just want to like know that there's nothing in there um and that he has like passed everything through over time like i said it's always usually pretty small but the chunk he vomited up yesterday was like a little bit concerning so yeah i'll keep you guys updated on how all of that goes but i'm in such a weird like not sure what to do about sydney because obviously i want to go and support white fox and the brand but then i'm like romy comes first so i think i'll just wait and see how i'm feeling a little bit later i don't know i'm so torn i'm also the most indecisive person on the planet so that's not really helpful and i was meant to go and hang out with like em and just have like a really wholesome like weekend with her so that makes me sad too because we went to yeah just like hang out one-on-one -on -one for friday afternoon and then saturday morning as well which you never get to do so that was gonna be really nice too i don't know quick little smoothie to go i don't think you guys understand how obsessed i am with this smoothie honestly it is just the best thing in my life. It is so great. I am just obsessed with it. So I'm just gonna talk to you guys here because my makeup is an absolute mess after getting my hair done. Um, but they ended up saying that it's not an emergency. Like she was like, you don't need to be really worried. Um, but he hasn't passed through his breakfast from this morning. So they couldn't tell the difference between if anything was in his stomach or not. So she was like, come pick him up um, this afternoon. He can just have the night at home. And then I'm going to take him back in tomorrow. I'm not going to feed him breakfast in the morning. Then that way when they do the x-rays and the ultrasound, um, it'll be clear as to what is like, cause there won't be any food left fingers crossed um then if there is anything extra in there then it means that it'll be a foreign substance so that could be the teddy that he chewed last week um so we're just kind of like waiting to see but he has they've left the is it called the cannula cannula yeah i think that's what it's called they've left it in his arm which is going to be a little bit of a challenge because he um he just likes to move around a lot so i need to try and keep him still but he obviously just got home so he's just said hi to milo and he's all excited but he should chill out soon i just need to like tidy the apartment quickly after like filming today and then i'm just gonna chill out with the boys and just hopefully um like let romy just relax a little bit and then yeah i'll take him back in tomorrow so that also means that i can't go to sydney anymore tomorrow um just because obviously i need to be here to take romy um to the vet tomorrow and if i was going to sydney i would have to leave here at nine and i'm taking him at eight and obviously i just want to be here um just for all of the updates and everything as well and yeah hopefully everything's all good but yeah i just want to make sure i'm here in case of anything so i unfortunately can't go tomorrow which i'm really sad about because i was so excited to hang out with em i was excited to yeah go obviously down to sydney and celebrate valentine's day with the white fox team but my little babies come first so yeah and also i just wanted to let you guys know as well i am with the woolworths pet insurance and even the vet just then they're like you're so lucky you were with them because it was so heavily discounted so at emergency this morning it cost me around 900 dollars, and then it just it would have been another nine hundred dollars just then but it was only three hundred dollars because of the um like rebate from our insurance so a little um good to know situation for anyone else that has little doggies but yeah it's gonna i need to try and contain this these two come here boys relax like you look so cute you're so cute with your little thing but you need to stop Stop running around all over the place. It's gonna be a struggle. Turkey's almost room temp, guys. Calm down. Grab the mashed. I feel so bad because usually I'd be walking them at this time and they would have already been fed, but I feel too bad feeding Milo and not feeding Rumi, so they're both not getting fed. And they're just like not very impressed with me. So I'm really sorry boys. I am ready for Pilates though. So excited for Pilates. I actually haven't been able to get in. I got in last week but the two weeks prior I couldn't get in because they were so busy. I've definitely been missing it and I'm really excited to go. I look so like tall right now. 
<laughs> I think because I've got these platform Uggs on and then obviously like tights make me look taller. Not mad. Um, but yeah, I also feel bad leaving them for an hour. Like I know they'll be fine, but Romy was so tossy and turny. Like the last 20 minutes, he did go back to sleep during probably the last five minutes but then my alarm went off. Like he was tossing and turning from probably like 3.30 onwards. So that was fun. But hopefully we can get it all sorted today. I would usually walk them at this time as well, but they told me that I obviously can't walk them because Romy has the cannula in. So no walkies for the boys. It's really sad, but I'm thinking I'll oh, walk in this afternoon if it's not raining and just so they can get their little steppies in once Romy's all good. I'm just ordering some of the Kerastas, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, shampoo and conditioner because I've actually ran out of my shampoo, conditioner, my hair mask that I always use and my heat protectant as well. And I was going to get more because I use Olaplex for my shampoo and conditioner and then the hair mask and heat protectant I use are from Bondi Boost. But I've actually been hearing really amazing things about this. Oh, I've added way too many to my cart. Oh no, I need to delete this. Wait, oh, what? Oh no, we're all good. But I've heard really amazing things about this product, so I thought I may as well try something new while I have run out of everything. I feel like it seems like good timing and I've heard incredible things, so I'm going to purchase all of this and I'll let you guys know what my thoughts end up being. Um, but it's quite expensive, which I was already pre-warned about. Like, that's probably double the price of the hair mask I usually use. And honestly, probably, like, I feel like it's, like, all double the price of everything I usually use. But I'm pretty sure this is meant to be specific to blondes. Like, if you click on this, the actual product, it has these images because some heat protectants don't really work as well as they should and will make your hair go more, like, brassy, I suppose. So, if it ends up being like working really well and maintaining my blonde i'll be so happy oh my gosh it has been an absolute day it has been the biggest day i've been so humbled today i don't really have the capacity to talk about it right now but i'll tell you guys all about it tomorrow for now i'm just making myself some quick and easy dinner and just switching off because yeah i'm honestly exhausted after the day i've had i will fill you guys in on everything tomorrow but i am yeah like i said just about to make dinner super quick and easy i was gonna order in and then i realized i've actually got a few bits and pieces here that i can quickly whip up my favorite like easy dinner with so i'm just gonna have this grass-fed beef mince with organic tomato paste coconut milk heaps of chili flakes salt and pepper and then i'm just gonna have it with some of this gluten-free macaroni pasta as well might even add some garlic in there too but yeah it's really quick and easy usually um you guys may have seen me make this in the past with broccoli as well i don't have any but i'm just gonna make it without and go from there You never would have understood. But if I had known, you haven't actually left me for... For him, I... I, I mean, maybe... Don't, don't, don't say it. <laughs> don't even think it. I can't help myself. I never should have let you... Let me go.
I thought I would give you guys a little bit of an update. I'm going to spare you on most of the details, but I'll give you like a quick little overview. As you know, I went and dropped off Romy to the vet yesterday in the morning, and then they called me a few hours later just asking if I could come and pick him up just because they were trying to give him food and water, but he wasn't interested, which is very unlike him. And they just suggested that if he was back at home in a comfortable environment, then that would be better. And as soon as we got home, that was definitely the case. He ate his food, he drank heaps of water, and he also went to the toilet. And in his poop, a little bit of TMI, so skip forward if you don't want to hear this. Um, but there was more pieces of fabric from the teddy that he had chewed in his poop, um, which was really good to know that that was obviously the cause of his tummy being really unsettled. So I obviously let the vet know straight away and she was like, no, this is great news um, because she had said that his stomach looked a little bit inflamed, but they couldn't still tell the difference between what it was. So that was really good. I took him back down to the vet again at 2.30 because we'd already scheduled for that to happen once I'd picked him up and then took him back down and did a final check and she was really happy with how everything was looking. It said everything was great. So that was good. And then there was like way more in amongst all of that, but I'm not going to bore you with all of the details because it was honestly just a really humbling experience. But long story short, Romy is good and I'm just really happy that he is back to his normal self and just 100% and that we were able to work out what was wrong and the vet he goes to honestly the doctor there is so incredible she is amazing she just made me feel so at ease the whole time she tested absolutely everything it just makes sure we were completely in the clear and I'm just really happy with how she handled everything so that was amazing it obviously was so good that I was here um and that I didn't go to Sydney because it did require a lot of like going there dropping him off um like looking through his poo and like things like that as well which obviously I can't just palm onto someone else so I'm glad I was here and that is the update so I didn't have vlogging much at all yesterday because I just had a lot of like back and forth happening I had a lot of admin stuff to get done as well um so yeah there wasn't too much on yesterday and then the same again today I've just been chilling a little bit I'm going away next week and then the following week and then the following week as well so I've just sort of been just catching up on some life admin, a little bit boring, and just doing a little bit of cleaning and washing and things like that as well. But Tasha and Fia actually had a booking at Etsu tonight and asked if I wanted to go along as well. I actually originally wasn't going to go because, um, yeah, I was meant to be in Sydney last night, but I figured because I didn't go to Sydney, may as well go out tonight with the girlies. I'll only be out for like an hour or two, so the boys will be perfectly fine here, but Tasha's on her way now to pick me up, so I'll show you guys my outfit really quickly before I go. I'm not sure about the hair. She's a little bit chaotic. I'm just like such a sleek bun girly, honestly. I just love having my hair in a sleek bun. I just feel so comfortable and just like I can tackle the world. This is the outfit of the night. I already showed you guys this earlier in the vlog. It is the outfit that I'd planned on wearing to the Galentine's dinner, but we just have this cute little corset top and then just some jeans. It's just going for super casual comfy vibes tonight. <laughs> Good morning, happy Sunday. I've had quite a good morning actually. I went up, um, sorry, I went for my run this morning and it was actually really good. It was way easier than last week, thankfully, because I really struggled a little bit last week. So I'm glad it wasn't as hard. Um, the only thing I did struggle with was the fact that my shins are actually like a little bit sore and like bruised from neighborhoods workout yesterday because there was quite a bit of running in yesterday's workout class. So we're basically running for half of the um, like half the workout, I suppose. So I was a little bit sore because I wasn't wearing my running shoes during that workout yesterday. But aside from that, it was really good this morning and it just goes to show that honestly having the right running shoes makes the biggest difference i never used to worry about what shoes i was wearing i just wear sort of whatever but honestly having the appropriate shoes for running makes the biggest difference so if you've been wondering whether to get actual running shoes for running and make sure you do it because i would injure myself so much and just have all these issues with my running um, that probably would have been avoided from having the correct shoes. So just a little tip for you guys And then this morning I've just been organizing my life for this coming week because we're actually going away for my birthday on Tuesday I can't believe 
it's my birthday on Tuesday. It's only just hit me that it actually is. I just feel like it just, just like felt like I'm just going away for the week. And then it's actually just hit me that it's actually my birthday, which just feels so bizarre. I don't know why. I feel like just the older I get, I'm just like, I don't want to have another birthday. Like I love birthdays and celebrating so much. And I know that there's so much life to be lived and there's so much just life to experience and be so grateful for but i have just loved being younger as well so i'm not ready to be another year older just yet but i also am at the same time i feel like i'm just in a really great place right now i am just so content with life in general and i'm just genuinely i know i've been going through it the past week because of this book but i'm genuinely really happy like i actually am so happy it's just been a little bit of a mental like blockage i would say from like this book issue but i'm feeling so much better this week and i am so happy with everything in my life like i've already told you guys like i have so many blessings and i feel really good romy's also back to his normal self which is amazing i'm very happy that you're back to normal yes very very happy um that he's feeling himself again i also have done my hair a little bit differently you guys know i'm trying to just step outside my comfort zone a little bit and try on new hair hairstyles. Um, and I actually think it looks really cute. My biggest insecurity with like my hair and hairstyles is mostly the size of my forehead as people love to tell me all the time. I'm very aware I have a big forehead guys. So thank you so much. I actually don't really get that many comments about it anymore, but I used to a lot. Um, but yeah, I just usually embrace it. But I feel like doing anything different to what you usually do is obviously going to feel uncomfortable for a little bit and then the more you do it you'll get more used to it and honestly i'm just pretty lazy which is why i always just end up slicking my hair up anyway but i thought i may as well do my hair a little bit differently this morning just to trial something new and i think she's actually quite cute um but i'm about to head to the shops i have a few errands to run so i thought i'd bring you guys along for everything First on the agenda is I'm actually dropping Jake's car off to get detailed. I love getting it detailed before he comes home because I feel like it's just such a nice little like thoughtful thing to do. And then when he gets home, he's got a nice clean car. Obviously, we share the same car as well. So I benefit from it too. Um, but I feel like it's just like a nice thing to do. I always um, do the same thing with the apartment as well. I just always make sure that it's clean. And he does the same for me like before you come home after a big trip or just any trip. Just like to make sure that our space is really just like extra clean and just everything's done because i feel like it just makes you just like come home and you appreciate home so much as well so that's really nice so i'm going to do that and then i'm also going to get my nails changed over i've loved the valentine's day nails they are so cute and i'll definitely be doing valentine's day nails every year moving forward i think it's such a cute just like thing to do just to celebrate the different holidays and things like that but i definitely need something a little bit more neutral being birthday week and birthday month so i'm going to do that and then i also need a book because we are actually away the next three weeks with three different things on there's actually four different things on um which i'm really excited about but i as you guys know have been on a bit of a book ban i put myself on a ban because clearly couldn't handle the book series or the book situation in general so I was on a book ban but I'm finally relieving myself of that because I want a really nice wholesome book to read while we're away this week so I need to find something like that it has to be wholesome uplifting positive vibes nothing sad can't be fantasy and then I also what else do I need to do um i think that's it oh no we also have my manager bronte's wedding at the end of the month i am so excited and the theme is black or white and i just i just don't i can't get my head around wearing white so i've just always known that i was gonna wear black to the event um and i've actually ordered a few things so i'll let you guys know what i end up going with but i ordered the most stunning dress yesterday from revolve and i'm just hoping it fits me right because if it fits it's gonna look so beautiful if it doesn't, then I'm going to be going back to the drawing board. Um, but yeah, we'll have to wait and see. I have also ordered two other dresses as well. So I'm just going to like get them all, try them on, see how they fit, see what the vibes are. But I need to get just some plain black heels to go with whatever dress I end up wearing. So I'm going to have a little bit of a look around for that today as well. And yeah, these boys are just been so cute. This is Milo. And then this is Romy. You can't even see him because he's black. I'm just wearing this cute little romper from White Fox. I just wanted to be comfy and casual today while I'm running around doing these errands. Just have my sneakers on. And I'm just going to take my, where is it? My Pauline bag as well. 
Ooh, the lighting's nice this way. Boys, you want to say hi? Here's a little Roman. Oh, Miley. <laughs> yes, I love you. They're so cute. I love you guys so much. I'm actually starving though, so I'm going to make myself a smoothie. No surprises here. I'm obsessed. And then I might even get some lunch out while I'm out, maybe afterwards as well. Jake is also home tomorrow, which is very exciting, but I'll fill you guys in on all of that in the next vlog because that will be starting tomorrow. Honestly, the greatest smoothie of all time. Okay, I'm just looking through all the books and I'm on the hunt for, oh, there it is. Magnolia Parks, I've heard this is really good. I want to see what else they have though. I've also heard that, um, like Tell Me Lies and stuff is good. Oh, these ones, Twisted Lies, sorry, that's what I meant to say. Twisted Lies, Twisted Hay. Maybe I'll just start with this one. Say goodbye to these nails. Yum. I just stopped in at No Name Lane and got myself a sandwich. I've been obsessed with sandwiches at the moment. I don't know what's come over me, but I'm just addicted to them. And I haven't had one of the sandwiches from here for, I would say, like, maybe even, like, six months now. I think the last time I got it was before I went to London. Uh, not London, sorry. Um, LA, one of the last times. They are so good here. This one has... It's like chicken, it has like crispy bits of chicken in there as well and then also like a, like a chutney, almost like a curry chutney, it's so good. I forgot how good this is, I'm literally just listening to the girls bathroom while eating this, sat in the car. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah, but it's like, I'm telling you, look, eco wash, mm. whatever, make sure you put the They're so funny, honestly, I love them so much. still work here, Possibly you. the softest right. bread I've ever had. I really I ended up getting Magnolia Parks also, new nails, slay, very nice and beautiful and neutral. Um, I got this, a girlfriend actually recommended it to me, she said it's like Gossip Girl vibes. Um, and then I got Twisted Lies, but I didn't actually realize <laughs> that you meant to read them in order. I just saw on TikTok that this is the best one out of the series, um, I think this might actually be the last one I didn't realize. Um, but I was messaging my friend and she said you're meant to read them in order because they're all friends That's what all of the different stories are about. So I might need to get the other ones of that um, But yeah, I'm excited. I'm also I am a little bit sad though I had ordered eight rules of love by Jay Shetty and that was meant to be getting delivered today From Amazon, but I just got a message saying that they attempted delivery, but I obviously it was out So they'll try again tomorrow, but I won't be here so I think I'll read this one while I'm away because I think this one is a little bit of toxic energy. So that's my alarm because I actually need to leave. Yes, I have to leave now. I need to go and pick up the car because they um, they were really busy. So they just asked if I could come and pick it up later. So I'm going to walk back across the shops and go and pick it up now. But I'm actually going to sign off this video now. I need to, when I get back from the shops, edit it, upload it, and just make sure that it's ready to go on Tuesday for you guys and obviously I have a really busy week this week and I'm going away tomorrow so I don't have time to edit it tomorrow or anything so I need to get it done tonight so I'm gonna sign up this vlog now I'm sorry it was a little bit chaotic um, but I will I feel like the next few weeks are gonna be really chaotic anyway I think this video might be a bit shorter than the past few weeks as well um, but yeah hopefully you guys still enjoyed it I love you so so much and I will see you in my next video bye from me and the boys Bye, guys.